Welcome. Thank you so much for being here. Today's movement is going to be White Crane Spreads Its Wings. Let's get started. White Crane Spreads Its Wings. I'm going to demo from the normal direction and then we'll start breaking down footwork, waist, arms, and gaze. So, we're starting in an empty stance on the heel, fist under elbow. We're going to open up the fist and we're going to change to the ball of the foot as we spread our wings and go to an empty stance again, torso to the straight direction. The footwork is pretty simple, okay? The key to the footwork is already being in a really good empty stance from fist under elbow. So we start empty stance on the heel. 30% of the weight is in this leg. We're simply going to shift back, pick up, and then change in the exact same position and just touch with the ball of the foot. What you'll notice is that an empty stance on the heel has a straighter leg than an empty stance on the ball of the foot. Things to be aware of when we're doing this transition, first that we have one line between our feet, our feet are on either side of that line, we have that alignment so that our knees are not turned in but the weight is centered on our feet and we already have our hip over our heel so that we can simply move back a little bit and then just change to the ball of the foot. It's pretty simple, but if you start in an empty stance that's more in a 50-50 position, you're going to find yourself having to move back more, change, and then go back. So we want to make sure that we have 30% here, then we can pick up and change to the ball of the foot. Now it's not just your toes, it's going to be the whole ball of your foot. Okay, the waist, the waist plays a role in our ability to pick up our foot and there's a general rule that we follow for an empty stance on the heel versus an empty stance on the ball. So we start in fist under elbow and we have our waist open towards that corner direction where it's following the back foot and we're going to shift back and we're going to pick up and change to the ball and we're going to turn our torso to straight. So in the final position our torso is going to be to the straight position. Now this is that general rule. When we have an empty stance on the ball of the foot our torso will be to straight. When we have an empty stance on the heel our torso is going to be open. Something else that you'll also notice is when we're transitioning we're also going to have our waist usually turn towards that back foot. It's going to make it a lot easier to pick up than if you tried picking up with your torso to the straight direction. So make sure you have a good starting position. We're turned, we shift, pick up, touch with the ball, and we're going to turn and finish so that we're to the straight direction. Still hinging forward from the hips, so we have that lean towards our supporting front leg. That's it. So the gaze, we'll go on to that next because the gaze is just going to stay where the action is happening. So fist under elbow, the action is happening here. White crane, the action is still happening towards that straight direction. So our gaze is not going to change throughout this movement. The arms. Let's talk about the arms. The arms, we're going to break down into two parts. We're going to do right and left and then put it together. So we start in fist under elbow, okay? We're going to drop that right arm first. The left arm is going to close and be on top, okay? So it's just pressing down that little bit and then it's going to go on a gentle curve and it's going to come down and sit by your hip. This palm should feel just like opening when we're sitting the hands down. So we want to make sure 
our armpit is open, that palm looks like it's resting on a table, and we still have that bend through the arm. So we lifted for fist under elbow. We're gonna close down, and then we're gonna come to our hip, our fist. Our fist is a hook punch. It came from the side. It's going to turn so that your palm goes to the sky. Make sure to keep that space between your body. And we're gonna hinge this arm up. And the rotation of your arm, it's gonna come overhead, up in front. Here, the goal right now is to have a nice rounded shape, so not too bent and close to your head. Rounded and reaching. So your palm is going to be in line with your head, but high enough and shoulder down. So if you have any sort of shoulder injuries or anything at all that might affect your mobility, maybe you come further out to the side so that you can still keep your shoulder down, okay? Let's try and put the two arms together. It's gonna make more sense. So we have lifting up and punching together. We're gonna close that top arm down and open up your fist. So you end up in what we call is like a holding a ball position. It's not holding a ball between your palms. It's a little bit more closed, okay? Then we're going to pass the right arm on the outside and the left arm comes down. So one up, one down. Final position, we're looking ahead Right arm is warding off, left arm is palm sitting on a table, okay? Let's talk about the meaning, it might help. So the meaning is someone is pushing. Someone has pushed towards you. You're going to close around their push, okay? So we close. Then you're gonna take one arm up and one arm out, and it's gonna look more like this. Remember in the form we have standard movements, but when we use it as a martial art, it's going to look different. But we wanna make sure that we show we have our closing, and we have enough space that if someone was pushing in that space, you can see the arms would go around. Then it's one up and one down. Let's put it together with the footwork. Normal direction, fist under elbow. So we're gonna start closing the arms and shifting our weight back. And we're gonna change to the ball and then up and down with the arms. Final position, leaning forward still that little bit, hand on a table, one warding off up overhead. Check empty stance on the ball of the foot, not 50-50 or more in the front, just 30% of the weight. If you're ever feeling bold, a great way to figure out what is 30% of the weight is to weigh yourself at home and then put one foot on your scale. It's a very unique exercise that will actually help you understand what that weight transfer feels like. Now, if you have a scale that's really um, tall, you might wanna like stand on a book or something else, you know, be careful just to level yourself out. But that's a great little trick to actually understand what 30% of the weight is. So let's put it all together. Fist under elbow, lifting and punching. Open up your fist, change, make sure you end up to the straight direction. White crane spreads its wings. Let's move at a slower pace so that we can feel the difference of moving at that slower pace. Starting at fist under elbow. Okay, slow. Open up your fist, start moving back. Closing the arms, lift up your toes. Pick up, touch, slowly open the arms. Move 30% as your waist turns and close. Did it feel different? 
let's do it slow. Slower is always better. Single whip, fist under elbow. Shifting forward, feel that weight transfer to the left leg as you open up your hook. Pulling down, stepping in, shifting back. Make your fist, lift, punch, and touch with your heel. White crane, open up your fist, close the arms. Touch, make sure you end up to the straight direction as you open the arms and shift 30% of the weight forward. Now that we feel confident, just adding on one or two moves, let's practice the whole thing together. From the beginning, all the way through to our new movement. Feet together. And then lifting left foot and step. Right now for opening, we're setting the pace. Slowly rotating. Drawing the energy up and then settling back down. Then we have wave hands. We drop the right fingers, that right arm comes up and it rotates to the right side. And we step. We do the other side, turning from our waist to bring the arms to the straight direction. And then we step to the corner Looks like wave hands until the last moment when we make a hook for a single whip. Standing ward off and push. Shifting forward, fist under elbow, relax your hook. Step in. Shift back. Lift, punch, and touch with your heel. Open up the fist, close the arms. Change to the ball, spread your wings, bringing 30% of the weight forward for white crane. Great work today. Thank you so much for joining me. If you'd like to know more about me and these healing practices, you can connect with me on Instagram or Facebook at Lady Tai Chi. And don't forget to visit my website, LadyTaiChi.com, where you can subscribe to my newsletter to be the first to know about all the great new things coming soon. Thanks so much for joining me. I hope to see you again soon.